to the Sonic the Hedgehog Let's Play and we're in Spring Guard Zone. A uh, pretty popular level as far as the fan base is concerned. There's not really that many people that dislike uh, Spring Guard Zone. And if you go on the very top platform there, you'll get a hidden uh, speech. Well. A lot of people don't know it's there. Um, I think I found that out through a speedrun. That's how I knew that existed. So, you know, hey, go watch speedruns and you'll find lots of good tips. Or you can watch this Let's Play, you know. Uh, these little spike things move at a pretty moderate pace, but they're not too fast. You can you can spin right through the, uh, the uh, area and not really take damage. And that's it. <laughs> Act 1 already. I think I'm spending more time in special stages than I am in the actual levels. Uh, I guess as far as... Speeding up this Let's Play goes, that's not a too bad thing. And this is Special Stage 3, and this is universally considered the hardest Special Stage in the game. Some would argue the hardest in the series. It's that kind of, that, it's that obnoxious. Though I, I'd say, um, what was it, Special Stage 5 in Sonic CD? Was it 5 or 6 that really screwed me up? I don't remember. I, I need to replay CD. I, I'm, I'm, one, I'm in the camp that loves CD. I'll get to that if I ever LP Sonic CD. I really want to do that game justice. I know there's some people that don't care for CD and think it's overrated, but you know what? They're just wrong. Uh, anyway, as you can see from watching, the setup for this special stage is just kind of obnoxious because there's really little weight. You really have no control in the special stage. I mean, mo that's kind of the definitive trademark of the song on Special Stages, there's a lack of control. Because you're kind of at the mercy of gravity. So it can be pretty frustrating. I, I, I think on Brain Scratch's run of this game, did, uh, I saw uh, uh, Lewis uh, uh, lo lost the Special Stage in like the first three seconds. Not that that has ever happened to me, but I've, um, you know, I, I've seen that happen to people in real life, too, when I, when I, I like, bring the game over and show it to them. So, you know, if Special Days 3 screws you over, don't feel too bad. That happens to a lot of people. Uh, anyway, we're in Act 2. Act 2 is, well, it doesn't have that, um, speech up the game, so you can't really blast through it like you can Anyway, those spike, the image of the spikes on them, like the Caterpillars and Marble Zone, they have a kind of obnoxious hitbox. You can, like, barely tap them on the front and kill them, but any further than that, and you'll likely get hit. So, yeah, Sonic 1 does kind of have hitbox issues. I won't, I won't, I love this game, but I, 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 I won't sugarcoat that. Yeah, there's two packs you can take. You can take one on the top, and I'm taking the one on the bottom because I think this is a little bit faster. Though, though there's nothing wrong with taking the top path. That's the thing I like about these games. You know, there's always choices. Take the path you want, you know, even if it's not faster, you know, sometimes you just want to, you want to have different scenery. You want, it, it, it's like, you know, you're, you can take the normal path to work, or you can take the scenic route. You know? And this is Special Stage 4, considerably easier than Special Stage 3. And if you notice, um, the way I'm getting these Special Stages is sort of like, I'm doing it in Green Hill, Spring Yard, and in Starlight, because those are the easiest to really get a lot of rings in without wasting time. Because to, you can get the Special Stages in Marble Zone Labyrinth Zone, but it's... It's difficult to accumulate a lot of rings in those without wasting time, and this this was sort of um, kind of attempted as a quasi speedrun. Like it's nowhere near as good as like the official speedrun, but I like to think that you know this is a lot better than some average Joe uh, playing this game for the first time. So, you know, better than sharp in the eye, as uh, someone else says. <laughs> you know that's special stage four, not too difficult. If you're doing exactly as I am, you should have 4 out of 6. And now we're in Act 3. Uh, Act 3, not too different. Well, actually, I think this is probably the most linear of all the um, acts in Spring Yard. 
because I, I, I distinctly remember me not uh, burying up my past all that much in this uh, level. I never know how to get that platform to the left. I've never gotten there. If someone knows how to do it, let me know. Because I've like spent like hours trying to get up to it and just never doing that. I, I, that always bugged me. And more of those uh, spiked enemies. Yeah, their hitboxes are obnoxious. But if you play your cards right, you can get both invincibility and speed shoes. And then you're basically walking to solve death. And you should uh, move quickly. Well, you don't have to. But you know, it's a good idea to take advantage of it when you've got the chance. Uh, there are bottomless pits there, so you be careful if you're playing this game for the first time. Because I'm making it look easy, but I've actually there are times when I like screwed up in that section. Anyway, if you get underneath Robotnik when he's at his lowest point, he'll try to uh, dive his spike into the blocks below. But if he's at his top, because he sl he moves up and down, he doesn't stay in a straight line. And when he's up and you move underneath him, he won't do it. So you can, in theory, defeat Robotnik without um, having any blocks being destroyed, but I figured there's no real practical reason to do that other than to show off, so I didn't. And now we're in the consensus hardest level, and to some people the worst level in the game. I strongly disagree, because I actually like Labyrinth Zone. <laughs> you know, it, it, as odd as that may seem, I don't really think this level is that difficult. Um, I think Scrap Brain Zone is much more difficult than this level is. But... That's just due to the way, like, Labyrinth Zone is a level I describe as being, I guess it feels a lot more like a Castlevania level than it does a Sonic level, because a Sonic level, you kind of expect to be able to move very quickly, like, a few obstacles in your way, but not too many to worry about. Here, it's more constructed like you would expect a Castlevania level, where there's a lot of obstacles, and there's a lot of methodical and meticulous platforming you have to worry about. Which, which is obviously a key characteristic of the Castlevania series, but at least the classic games. Eh, a little bit in the Metroidvanias, but not too much. Especially not in Symphony of the Night, as easy as that game is. And we're in Act 2. Uh, you might want to go to the right, get the invincibility. Well, I mean, you can ignore it, but that wouldn't be a good idea. Because you can breeze right through it and kill those Orbanauts. If you're playing this game for the first time, those Orbanauts are probably going to be your night a nightmare for you. Especially when they're just sitting there, uh, you know, taking up your air time. I believe you have approximately 18 seconds. I think I remember reading that correctly somewhere. Uh, I'll have to look that up again. But this is uh, also... Uh, well, actually, this is the one with the game with water in it. Did. But that, that's a spoiler. Yeah, I don't like that. But uh, these invincibilities really help make Act 2 move a lot faster. Because, I mean, I'm almost at the end of the level. It's only one minute. So I, I, I think that when people say you have to do a slow level, so that, uh, that's not necessarily true. Now I've been playing this game for many two years, so I kind of know my way around it, but... And I was dangerously close to uh, drowning. Um, I know in some versions, some revisions of this game, if you spin rolling at the end of this act, the game will crash. You'll get, like, a weird error. I don't know why that is, but... Guys, I remember that actually happening a lot when I was a kid. I don't know if it happens in the current revision I was playing for this. I believe it will work. It was one of the revisions that had the parallax scrolling put into it. There's a bunch of rings to the left if you wanted them. I recommend taking this path I'm taking because I think this is the easiest way through Act 3. And definitely the shortest because the other one, you really go up and down and all around level, whereas you take the path I'm taking, and it's a pretty smooth. And, and, and 
probably making some of you sweat bullets going through all this with no rings. Uh, again, this was kind of intended as a semi speed run. Kind of serious, not too serious. So I was trying to get through as fast as I could. Uh, there's actually a passage like that, I think, in Act 1. Yeah, well, let me explain that platform thing at once since I actually didn't do that then. If you get down to the bottom of that part in Act 1 and then go back to the top, the platform will appear. It's weird, but it's a legitimate shortcut for Act 1. So. And that, that was the only air bubble I've taken in all of Labyrinth Zone. So, all, all through Acts 1, 2, and 3. So you can't get through through a Labyrinth Zone with not really having to stop for air all the time. You can, if you're playing this game for some, I recommend you stop frequently whenever you see a new air bubble, just to be safe. Because again, this isn't the level where, you know, this is more of a methodical level. Anyway, we're close to the boss fight, and see what we're two minutes in, and we're already doing the level. This level is painfully long. Anyway, if you're playing this game for the first time, I do not recommend you do one. What I'm doing is something really only an advanced player should try. A lot of people think Robotnik's unkillable. This is false. You can't kill him, but it's really difficult, as you just saw. You basically, all these jumps that I'm making, you've got to be right on the money. You, it, you could mess up maybe once. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of uh, Labyrinth Zone. Robotnik's killable after all. I'm Hukos, and I'll see you guys next time.